it's John again. Welcome to another episode. I want to talk to you today, today about something that you might not even consider to be uh, even a thing at all. The Bible says in the Ten Commandments that we're not supposed to bow down to idols. And many people consider idols to be things made out of stone or wood. They're carvings. They're, they're gods. And people burn incense to them. And they bow down and they make food offerings. This is something more the, along the lines of what they practice in Hinduism or Buddhism. Well, what concern is that for the church, for those who love Christ and who love Jesus, idolatry should be no issue. In reality, idolatry is more than just statues of wood and stone. Today, idolatry has extended out into the entertainment and music industry. Idolatry has become the central theme. In fact, we have a very show named after that. It's called American Idol. And the reason it's called American Idol is because they're creating an image of a person. You've all seen those magazines. And they say, well, look at the celebrity, what they look like in real life, on the everyday, when they don't have all their makeup on, when they're not ready for the show, when the cameras aren't on, look at how this person really is. And you see a stark contrast. That's real. Those are real photos. Those are real people following them around, unfortunately, because these people are idols. But the point is, is that the image these people have created on television and in the music industry and so on and so forth is that it's a manufactured image. It's not really them. Eminem can't really rap like that unless he's doing it all the time. Uh, Beyonce isn't really that fine unless it's all set up. There, there's a setup. They're ready to go to the show. Jay-Z doesn't have any talent if there's no studio. Their, their whole talent, their whole personality is a creation, it's a conglomeration of a series of video clips. We don't really know who that person is. But when we go to meet that person, we find that they're just a normal person that has created an image for themselves. Beyonce herself said that when she's up on stage, she becomes somebody else. She becomes Sasha Fierce. She becomes a different person. It's the idol in her. And people are worshipping her. And they worship her not by creating a statue of Beyonce and offering incense to it. They worship her by trying to dress like her, trying to act like her, trying to talk like her, trying to sing like her, trying to be around like her, trying to find a man like she does, trying to have an attitude like her attitude. She becomes an idol. And think about it, you get a poster of her, you get something, you stick it on your wall. You just created an idol in yourself. Jesus told us to cast away those idols through many words of the prophets and the saints to get rid of idols in your life. Because you have to realize that when someone is glorified, they're glorified of God, it's not themselves. How many people can sing? How many people have that talent to do those things? Turn away from the idols because they're going to, turn you into something that is also dead. They don't have any life in themselves because their life is a created thing. It's not real. It's not really them. They're just putting an image out and that's really what an idol is. If you're let loose today by these words, I hope you can realize that no one is to be worshipped. When John in the book of Revelation was speaking to the angel, it says he bowed down and worshipped before the angel. And the angel said, do it not. Don't do that. Don't do that because I'm just a servant like you. I'm a mere being like you. I was created. If you're going to serve and bow down to anyone, bow down to God, bow, bow down to Almighty God. And by Jesus Christ, we can see that the living stones, the living words, the, the living waters of life that flow forth from a person are from their real personality. They're not from a preconceived set of ideas. They're not from a script. They're not from what we see on TV. It's what is within us, which is true. And when you see that, that is the living person. So I hope you and yourselves are living today. And until you come back and watch another one of these episodes, God bless you very much.